Hi everybody. I'm Dwayne. I'm sorry for a week of absence. I've been to Kyoto on a business trip and I just came back. Okay, I'm all ready to continue my lectures on Japanese language. Today I begin a new series on a new song, Give Me Choco. Give Me Chocolate, which is, I believe, one of the most popular songs by Baby Metal.、Okay. And thank you for waiting.、Okay. But before I step into the lyrics, let me talk a little bit about chocolate culture in Japan. You know, Japan has a very interesting and strange culture of giving and receiving. Lots and lots of chocolate on a certain day, which is in this month of February. Yes, in the month of February, we all know we have St. Valentine's Day. Yes, that's February 14th. On this February 14th, lots of chocolates are exchanged between girls and boys. Who give the chocolates? Only girls or women. Who receive chocolates? Only boys and men. Okay, on the St. Valentine's Day, people go crazy. It's a mass hysteria.、Uh, uh, girls, e- either they Make their own chocolate from scratch, or they go to a nice, nice、uh, confectionery stores to buy you know, expensive, expensive chocolates and give them to their boyfriends.、Okay? And there are three kinds of such chocolates.、Okay? One kind is called homemade choco. Homemade chocolate. Homemade means The real one, the number one, your favorite one.、Okay? So, as you can imagine, girls give this homemade choco to their number one, favorite, beloved boyfriend.、Okay? Your one and only.、Uh, you're my one and only.、Okay? So, she or、uh, the girls. Give this to only one homemade boyfriend. Okay? Okay. And they give this chocolate、uh, to confess their love and affections toward, toward this you know, good looking, handsome boyfriend. Okay? That's homemade choco. The second kind of chocolate they give is giri choco.、Okay? Giri, giri means Duty or obligation, social obligation.、Okay? This is typical Japanese thing.、Okay? Well, girls or women give giri choco to their bosses or superiors okay? or,、um, or uh, big brothers or fathers、okay? as a token of thanks.、Okay? They give these chocolates rather reluctantly. <laughs> okay, boss, thank you. This is my chocolate. Take it. Okay. Like that. Okay. They, 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 well, in their hearts, they don't want to give, but that's, that's due. Well, it's not a real duty, but it's a social pressure. There's a social pressure that girls feel、uh, about giving. These gili chocos to their you know, superiors. Okay? Okay. And there used to be only these two kinds of chocolate giving.、Okay? But these days, there's a third kind of chocolate giving tomo choco.、Okay? Tomo choco. Tomo means, tomo is a short form of tomodachi. Tomodachi. Friends. Friends.、Okay? So these days, Uh, women has become, you know, 
stronger and uh, their sense of individuality or independence has become stronger and they are sick and tired of giving chocolates to boys okay and they started to enjoy this exchange of chocolate among themselves among girl friends okay? so they started to give chocolates to friends who are girls and women okay and they enjoy, you know, giving, receiving, eating chocolates among themselves. Okay, so that's the third kind of chocolate giving and receiving. Okay, and I think I'm not too sure, but this song "Give Me Chocolate" is singing about this Tomo Choco, uh, probably, uh, but I'm not sure. Uh, Okay, so by, by this time, you may think that all Japanese men are chauvinists. Man. Only men receive chocolates and only women give chocolates. Man. It's true, but, but it's not true. Okay? The thing is, one month later, May, sorry, <laughs> March 14th, man, March 14th, men are supposed to reciprocate the favor. Okay? This day is called White Day, White Day, on which men are supposed to give back white chocolates okay, to, to the girls who gave them chocolates on the St. Valentine's Day. Okay? Either white chocolate or equivalent, like handkerchief or bags or other candies. Okay? But these presents must be double the value, uh, double the values. That means if you received a chocolate which is worth 500 yen, you must return something which is worth 1,000 yen. See? So it's not easy to be a man in Japanese culture. <laughs> All right, so that's a background culture, okay? And now, let me step into the lyrics of Gimme Chocolate, okay? Gimme Chocolate starts with a very strange and funny uh, chant by the two ladies. They go, <laughs> these are so crazy. And these don't mean anything. Uh, this, this, this is just an um, exchange of shouts to me. Uh, well, only uh, these parts, zukyun or dokyun, are onomatopoeia, uh, onomatopoeic expressions, which mimics the sound of shooting, uh, shooting of a gun. When you, boom, shoot a gun in Japanese, it sounds like zukyun or dokyun or bakyun. These are three variations of the sounds of a gun shoot, okay, gunshot. Okay. So these are boom, boom, shooting guns. For what? I don't know. Okay, so what a document, boom boom, okay. And then uh, go to Q, the Q, the Q, the Q. Yada, 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 never, yada, 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 never, never, never. Okay. Yada or yades. Iyades becomes yada in childish Japanese or colloquial Japanese. Yada. Yada. Never, never, never. This part is English. Okay. Yada is an expression of refusal eh, or uh, rejection. Eh, you reject something. Eh, yada, 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 yada. No, 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 no. Uh, no way. No way. I don't like it. Eh. And you might wonder, yada, dame. Okay. Dame is another... Uh, uh, expression of rejection. Eh? So you might wonder what 
the differences between these two words? Well, actually, these two words mean almost the same, almost the same, and they're often used interchangeably. Okay, people mix up with these, and uh, even Japanese confuse uh, these two. Okay, but precisely saying, speaking, these two are a little different. Okay. Yada is an expression of rejection to a, a, a request that someone asks you to do. Okay. Dame is an expression of rejection to a request that somebody wants to do something. Okay. And they're asking for permission. Okay. Did you get it? Okay. So yada, yada is a rejection to a question such as will you do such and such? Or would you please do something something? Okay. For example, will you kiss me? If somebody asks you, will you kiss me? And you can say, yada. No way. I don't want to do it. Okay. Yada, yada, yada. Okay. And dame is a rejection when somebody asks you, may I? Question. May I? May I do this and that? Okay. For example, uh, uh, may I kiss you? May I kiss you? And you say, dame. Okay. Sorry. I don't allow you to kiss me. Okay. Dame, dame, dame. Okay. So in the song, Ijime dame zetai. Ijime dame zetai. They are singing, are singing like, hey guys, please stop bullying. I don't allow you to bully other people. Okay. Stop doing it. Okay. I don't like it. Don't do it. Dame, 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 dame. Okay. So that's the difference. Did you understand? I hope you do. Okay. So they're going, yada, 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 never, never, never. Okay. A sign of rejection. I don't know what, what they are rejecting. That's a good question. Yeah. But I really don't know. <laughs> Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you for watching and see you next time. See you.